Six hundred forty-six and forty-six subscribers. You ready to become famous? Did. No. You ready? You actually, you have a shit ton of ready to become famous. Epic Drew time here with that Dark World shit. You mean Epic Duel time? <laughs> fucking with the Yu-Gi-Ohs. All right, Epic Duel time. We be drinking here. Are we making Dark World? We got Tour World and that proxy shit. Are we making strips? Old school. Duel time, we like our drinks like we like our illegitimate sons. A little have seats. Epic double shot pour. Wow. Get our hands full of a fresh sack. Fresh decks. Figuring some decks. Three tour, I mean, two two cards, I mean, three tour guys. Epic four hundred dollar close up. I'm getting poor, so get the solid warnings. From the epic blow <coughs> suckage suckage center, where we splash <coughs> the <than> any <coughs> sucker is suck. <coughs> <laughs> epic fail raven. You like sleep? Please. Read the up. Check out that duel in there. Gotta check out recipes. Double beige. Because we be wearing khakis. Triple brow. Because we be drawing like Down Syndrome artists. Double raven. Because we need lights. Triple snow. Cause fuck it's snowing. One silver. Cause I be making gold. Triple grapha. Cause I love pencils. Triple tour guide from the proxy world. Even though it's the only card I own from this shit. And one saying, man, get with the six samurai. Fuck that is this shit. Fuck that gateway shit. Triple drag down into the grave. Cause I'm dragging your fucking new ass into the grave. Triple gates to the dark world. Cause I love gay. Gates. Triple pot of dualities. I ain't gonna be making two about love and pop. One foolish burial. Heavy strong. One monster reborn. Double MST. One terraforming. Double mind crush. Double solemn judgment. Oh shit. <laughs> Double solemn warning. One trap does shoot. Haters be learning. What you know about Burnett? What you know about Kalua? Oh, fuck that. Put it on all of it, yeah. Epic duel time here, serving you up a Dark World deck. As always, we always eat what we duel. 
And we got tour guides. We got a drink full of Burnett's mixed with fucking proxies. We got a fucking appetizer with the snow of the dark world. That's not snow, that's Jaeger. That's Jaeger, Luke. And that's Dr. Drew being an alcoholic. And we're ready to show you some plays so you understand how this dark world deck works. Haters be learning. So we're gonna teach you how to play this dark world deck. This is what a lot of the pros be playing. So we're gonna show you these plays. You understand how to play the deck. What'd I say? Learners be instructed. Hate. No, learn, learners be hating. All right, here we go. All right, so here's a common play, all right? A lot of times, you have a Gates of the Dark World active. Okay, it's gonna be a field spell on top of your board, all right? Now, it's possible that you might have a bro removed, a bro, a brow removed from your Gates of the Dark World. It's possible that it'll still be in your deck. Let's say he's still in your deck, okay? Well, you can tour guide into a tour guide to go to Leviathan, or you can special summon Brow of the Dark World. Then what does Brow of the Dark World do? Well, he leaves you a monster, a Dark World in the field that'll set up your Graphon grave. Well, a lot of people these days are playing Foolish Burial to make sure that Grapha is in grave. That's what I'm going to do in this play. I'm going to Grapha. I'm going to search my deck, my servings. Where's my Grapha? All right, we got servings. We got Graphas. <laughs> I don't know where my Grapha. There he is. Grapha in grave. Okay, when you tour guide into Brow, he gives you choices, he gives you plays. So you got Grapha and Grave, you return Brow to your hand, you special your Grapha. Now Grapha is normally a 2700 attack. Gates of the Dark World gives 300 attack into each fiend monster you control. Well, do you know he's a fiend monster, it's about to be a 3000 attack. Again, haters be learning. <laughs> Alright, so we got 3000 attack here, we got a Brow and Grave. You know what else we can do? We can remove other fiends that are engraved that maybe have been from that dark world. We can remove fiends engraved like a snow we discarded to get either of these cards. Think about snow. Snow is a dark world, and at this point, I'm probably going to include like a real effect of what this does. But snow, when you discard it, it lets you search for any dark world card, like gates. Gates of the dark world. Like Grapha. Grapha of the dark world. Like Brow. Brow of the dark world. Like proxies. Proxies of the dark world. So you search, discard your snow. Now maybe your snow's engraved. Now in this case, you could remove your snow, you could discard the brow that you just, dis that you just returned off Grapha, you discard it for gates, you get to draw cards, you're drawing cards, and you're drawing cards. You get to draw a card off your gates, and you get to draw a card off the brow you just discarded off gates. Then you get to draw two cards, you got a 2,000 cards. beater, you got a tour guide of the underworld, and in this case, I just happen to draw another tour guide of the underworld. Now that's not going to happen as likely, but if you do, we all know this equals a 2,500 Leviathan. We all know this equals a free Sangha to the board. We all know what kind of effects this shit equals. All right? Now, that's one of the common plays. So now you know. Grapha can return. Any fiend removed off fiends of the, of the gateway. If we go to Levier, Tour Guard can just search the brow and immediately return them to hand for Grapha. Tour Guard does a lot of things in this deck. And you know what? This deck all revolves around Grapha. The thing about Grapha is, a lot of people are playing things like Eradicator Virus and Deck Devastation Virus. If you decide to use those kinds of cards, you'll tribute him. He'll die. And you know what you'll do? Next turn, you're going to go ahead and summon a... Something a Brow. You're going to return your Brow and return that Grapha in exactly the state he was at before you tribute him for your Virus. He just keeps coming back. And this is exactly what this deck revolves around. Some people are going to play Silva. Some people are going to play Gold. So we can play all kinds of crazy stuff. Personally, I'm playing one Silva. I like beatdowns. I like noobs that play Dark World Dealing, which on top of that, a lot of people will decide to play one. If you do, you be careful. If you play three, you lose to the mirror match. If you play one and you're smart, because here we play dumb. But if you play smart, then, it, then you can maybe dodge doing this. If you know you're playing the mirror match, you don't play that Dark World Dealings. But if you know you're playing against something else, then you play that Dark World Dealings and you drop that Silva and you beat down. Alright, now on top of that, we got simpler plays, okay? We got simpler plays. Now on top of that, we can just do something simple with our gates. Where are my gates? I don't even know where my gates. We play our gates, okay? We play Tour Guide of the Underworld. We search Tour Guide, we go for yet another Tour Guide, and we go to a Leviathan, which I didn't pull out. Because I'm trying to teach haters. You can just proxy your Leviathan. I don't care if it's a 50 cent tin card. You play your cards. You proxy it. All these to Leviathan. You know what's going to be my Leviathan? Jägermeister. So we got Jägermeister who's going to detach and become 2,500 attack. Eventually. So there's my tour guide in grave. Okay. Now, 
I immediately have a fiend for Gates of the Dark World to remove, to discard. Now, the funny thing about Grafa is if you discard him, anyway, your opponent's discard, your discard, he ends up actually destroying a card on the field. So you discard him, you destroy that back row, and that might stop him. You take a card on the field? Any card on the field. Destroy it. We need everything with your hair. That's how it works. <laughs> it tastes like noob cards. It tastes like fucking <laughs> noob cards. So, okay. So now on top of that, okay? So now you got a fiend engraved, which makes it very easy to use your Gates of Darkwood card, because now you get a fiend to remove. You remove your fiend, you draw your card, you discard your fiend, and you draw a card. And oh, look, your graph is going to activate. And now your graph is going to destroy your mech lord that I just ate, because I've eaten proteins and paper strips. Okay. Now, on top, now. I've got a Leviathan, you kill it. I've got like 17 other Dark Worlds. Any of those Dark Worlds I rip, I discard Beige. I, summon, I discard Beige, I special summon him, and I special the Graffa. Okay, now a lot of you people might be thinking, Beige is pretty so-so. He's like a 1600 monster. He doesn't do shit. Let me explain to you why he does shit. Where's my Dark World cards? All right, we're going to pause. Okay. A lot of, so, this is why you run Raven. You summon your Raven, okay? Now, if you're like me, you've been holding this for about... 15 years hoping that one day to go up in value still has it Maybe it has maybe I'm drunk All right, <laughs> We're gonna really redo that part. So we're summoning fabled raven. We're using a raven's effect now If the effect failed at this point, which a lot of people have done Even if you discard he is not gonna get an effect. So don't discard you can't even discard It's not part of the cost. It's part of the effect. We're trying to teach you, but they don't veil her We're lucky one day Okay, what you're gonna do, you're gonna discard that beige that you've been saying, why the fuck do I run this beige, right? Where did the beige go? You didn't draw him, because you suck. Okay, so here we are, the beige. Alright, alright, so you summon your raven, you discard your beige. What do you know? Your beige effect activates, and he gets a level. So we have a three and a four. What are your choices? You can black rose the field, possibly get some card advantage. Okay, but in maybe, maybe you decide to play things differently. Maybe you go to Chaos King Arcfeet. Or maybe we go for the real broken shit, and we go to a fucking dark motherfucking Highlander that I don't own. But I will buy Columbus. Dark Highlander. You see that proxy shit? Doesn't even have a name. How broken. Now you can't synchro. That's how this deck works, okay? Now you gotta play support for it. A lot of people put pot of duality. Because you know why? You pot of duality, you set your play up, and you drop your summon. You're not going crazy. You're not dropping ten dark holds in a turn. You're dropping a Grapha, and you're dropping a Grapha, and you're dropping a Grapha. Every turn, 3,000 beat stick. 3,000 beat stick. You know what Blue Eye says? Blue Eye says, what the fuck, man? What the fuck didn't I get an effect like that? And you know what? I ask Blue Eyes the same thing. Okay? I ask him the same thing every day. He has no answer. So you know what I do? I pick up my key. I remember that I'm playing here. I'm playing for the Proxies. I'm playing for Perez. So that's what we're going to do. We're playing for Pittsburgh. So Team what you do is you drop Rafa every fucking turn. He may be a 27, but when you put that Gates of Dark World out, he becomes a 3,000 attack. He becomes, he's your new blue eyes. He's your new baby. Okay, you drop him. This is the whole deck. I'm not, I may have been drunk when I was talking about everything else. I'm not kidding. This guy. Now, I'm going to talk about one more card. One more card that I haven't given enough time because the card is too good and no one discusses it. And I don't even have the proxy ready. Drag down into the grave. Now, I want you to Google that. Drag down into the grave. Now, this right here, you just look at that picture. Beautiful. Okay. Drag down to the grave. Now it's a $7 comment so I didn't buy any. Drag down to the grave. Google the effect. Just pause the video. I don't care. You just pause it. Just tea time. Just like thunder pets. Okay, now that you know what the effect is, you drag down to the grave. I can look at your whole hand just like Trap does shoot and wait for you to use your Sangin's effect. I can wait for you to use your charges of Light Brigade's effect. I can wait for a lot of things to drag down into the grave. And now I know exactly what you have at hand. And you know what that does? Not only does it allow me to force you to discard one of my Dark World monsters, and it protects me against the Mirror Match. A lot of people play Dark World Dealings, which does not protect you against the Mirror Match. When they drop a Silva off your Dark World Dealings, it means two of your cards in your hand are going back to the deck. When I drop a Drag down into the grave, maybe I can pick an Effect Failure. Maybe I pick one of these... You know, little techie doom counts. Maybe I pick a tour guide. Maybe I pick a mind crush. Doesn't matter. This plays like a like a trap death shoe, but a trap death shoe that can force you to discard my dark world. Okay, and it also sets up crazy, crazy cards like mind crush, which is already a strong card. But those of you worried about the those agent mirror matches, you're main decking two of these because you're playing three drag down into the graves. So you either trap death shoe and mind crush, 
you drag down into the grave in Mind Crush. They summon an agent in you Mind Crush. They set up a play to put four fairies in grave in you Mind Crush. They attack a lower attack light monster into your higher attack monster and you Mind Crush Honest. Sets up all kinds of stuff. Mind Crush plus drag down in this deck is very, very, very good. Okay? Now we're not playing crazy. I drop a bunch of monsters to OTK. We play. I play slow because I'm a pussy. <laughs> And I just summon slow monsters and I take control of your hand with Drag Down and Mind Crush. Alright. Strong cards. Strong cards. That's it for Dr. Drew. Luke Mattingly, I want you to give yourself a little bit of face time for this. So give me this goddamn camera. Muscles Mattingly, everybody. Give me a little bit of nod of the head. <laughs> Damn straight. That's it for me. That's it for Dr. Bro. That's it for Dr. Tro. Next time, Prez evolves into a Butterfree. Than two guys in a forest, oh. the cocoons going harden, 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 no. harden, harden. <laughs>